Hi there, everybody. This is Lee, and I'm talking about bees today and neonics. Um, I've done videos in the past about bee populations and the use of pesticides. Um, I've spoken of Jill Stein, how she urged the um, cancellation of the use of neonics, neonicotinoids, uh, in agriculture because it affects the bee population, which affects pollination, which affects uh, food production. Um, and Jill Stein was ridiculed as being anti-science for being against the disappearance of bees um, and the effect it had on our, our food supply. Um, so that um, whole issue was dismissed um, by mainstream media um, who said that this was ridiculous to even talk about. Um, then we have um, uh, scientific publications that have been steadily publishing um, articles, um, scientifically peer-reviewed articles on the same issue, which have gone ignored. And then we actually have Governor Mark Dayton of Minnesota, who actually said we will not be using neonicotinoids in Minnesota because it affects the bee population. And so uh, apparently when a man says it, it's not anti-science. <laughs> uh, ah. <laughs> um, so now we have more publications coming out about the use of um, pesticides um, or insecticides that contain neonicotinoids, neonics, which is easier to say. This is an article at Common Dreams, EPA botches bee toxic pesticide risk assessment. So there's just been test after test after test, report after report after report, and the EPA is somewhat not um, taking it too seriously. Meanwhile, the bee population continues to disappear. Um, and so I'm going to post a link to this article. Um, it's actually a press release by Friends of the Earth. Um, that uh, Common Dreams published. You can read more about um, the effect of the um, use of these insecticides and how it's affecting food production. And more more people are, are recognizing that. Um, not necessarily here in the United States. It's been denied and it's been ridiculed and it's been dismissed as being anti-science to be against the use of certain pesticides or insecticides. Um, in other countries, such as Canada, um, Canada has banned the use of certain neonicotinoids for this very reason. It's been affecting their bee population. Also, the European Union has actually banned the use of certain neonicotinoids in their um, agriculture, too. And it's just the United States that refuses to acknowledge this problem. And meanwhile, our bee uh, population has been reduced um, as of 2014 by 30%. And so you know that um, it's an issue when even Fox News is picking up on this and reporting such um, articles, 10 crops that would disappear without bees. Um, and the gaping hole they would leave on the dinner table. I'm going to go ahead and leave these links um, in the description, and you can read through it and see what the issues are yourself. Um, and then when someone, uh, if it's CNN or MSNBC or whoever who claims that to be concerned about the disappearance of bees is anti-science, um, really run that through your head several times and see if the opposite is not true, that to not be concerned about the disappearance of bees, the dying off, and the effect of overuse of certain types of insecticides and how that affects our food supply, to not be concerned about that, that's likely anti-science um, instead. Um, so um, good luck, and I'll post those links, and hopefully, hopefully you can read up on that and then counter the gaslight uh, when someone uh, decides to shine it on you. Good luck.